a video on doing something with this Stilton cheese fat uh, that I've separated from the Stilton. So um, I had some Stilton uh, cheese left over from function and uh, I was kind of thinking what can we do with it and I know if we cook the cheese the fat comes out of it and I was kind of curious uh, what could we actually do with with that fat. So fry the cheese, move it around in a, in a, in a pan um, and heat, well, heat it, fry it and then the fat kind of comes out of it you siphon off the fat and you're left with um, like a stilton kind of like residue and then the fat that comes out of it so that's that uh, and what I did do a few weeks ago was I um, took some clarified butter and turned it back into butter so I added uh, the right amount of uh, liquid back to the uh, melted clarified butter and then I, whip, I whipped it over time uh, with a hand blender and turned it back into a butter so this butter is not a solid fat butter is 80% um, fat and 20% like uh, butter whey um, but clarified butter looks like that I've got some clarified butter but, uh, I don't know why I said that so we've got some clarified butter here there like that and that is very similar to that in my eyes so let's see if we can turn that into um, I like a butter so I've melted 80 grams worth of that fat and I put in 20 grams of water um, I, I, when I did the clarified butter I used some um, of the whey left over from my um, from my yogurt uh, which worked particularly very well um, kind of had that kind of flavor but I'm, I was thinking thinking not everyone's gonna have just some whey knocking about are they but I might just do it with some whey as well so we'll see so I'll do it with some just with water and then uh, we'll see what it's like uh, maybe with some whey as well so uh, we're gonna whip it using a hand, a hand beater a mixer a mixer hand beater um, and it will slowly uh, homogenize uh, back into each uh, the, the butter the fat and the water will homogenize back into each other once we put a hand blender on it Let's speed up the process. I've just got a, a bag of peas um, because they're in the freezer and they're just going to cool things down a bit quicker. Um, could use water, could use ice, but I've got some frozen peas, so that's what I'm going to use. And it's just simply cut it off, put in the uh, hand blender in there, and then gently whisking it like so. And then eventually, over time, it starts to homogenize uh, all back together, and we should be left with kind of like a butter. Um, you don't need to see me doing that. Uh, I can stop the video and we will be back when uh, this is all um, beaten together. Fingers crossed. Right, so it's worked. I just need to carry on whipping it, uh, but you can see what's happened. That's taken about 10 minutes. So I'll just pause and then we're back when I finished uh, whipping it. Right, it has worked. We have butter well not really butter but it has a whipped a whipped fat product so I put a bit of salt in now do you know that's really interesting that's really interesting I mean it's there's a bit of air that's whipped into it so it's like a whipped butter but that's an interesting. It's quite delicious. Yeah, I can just do it with water. You don't need to do it with, with some whey. Um, some air's got whipped into it, so that kind of changes the, the flavour of things. So, um, I've forgotten how it works. Um, but if um, it's changed, the, it, the, the texture's changed, and the the aeration has changed the uh, the what we call it, the, the flavour of, of of it, but it's very it doesn't taste like Stilton. It's just got that umami kind of essence of Stilton, a little bit cheesy. That's kind of quite delicious, to say the least. I mean, really nice. Um, so, I've 
practical wise but like what use is that um i don't know i don't know but not that's too much butter but like you're never gonna to buy stilton and do that with it it's a waste of money it's a waste of money let's be honest to get something like that but so the practical implications of something like that are a little bit pointless but interesting all the same interesting all the same and kind of kind of leaves the question i just need to do a picture so we just move things around a bit but it kind of leaves the question if we can take clarified butter and turn it back into butter and we can take the the fat that we've extracted from some stilton and turn that into a butter what else can we take and turn into like a butter kind of substitute so that's the that's another interesting kind of question and because we can we're doing it with stilton fat means that we can do it with other things as well so we can have a bit to think yeah so so i have i did the same process of, of extracting the fat out of some um of uh, cheap red cheese and we end up with that so that could be turned into butter in the same way as that could so that'd be kind of quite interesting so we'll do that with that and see how that turns out that's more that's more cheesy is that than the stilton i think yeah not as umami -y. so that that'd be an interesting butter and then you kind of go think about what other things can we kind of do i mean essentially so butter is like i said it's not a solid fat it's 80 percent uh, a fat or oil um and 20 percent whey so what other fats can we take and add 20 percent of water to them melt them together and then whip it as we cool it and turn it into a, a butter substitute which might it can become quite interesting which might be kind of quite interesting so that'll be kind of like the next have a think about that while i'm swimming or while i'm out walking and see what we can have a see what we can kind of do um i don't know what practical applications but sometimes just having a faff around is is reason enough and if i'm curious about something let's just have a go but that's that's really nice is that that's really nice um i'm suitably impressed with that so whenever i'm working and there's a load of stilton that's going to be thrown away or a load of cheese and we can do something with it you know which cuts down on waste ah there we go so it's it's food waste isn't it so we're cutting down the food waste and turning something um that was going to be thrown away into something useful which is yeah i was thinking about this um and this is one of the things that kind of makes me who i am so the town where i was born uh, we were famous for the uh, rag trade and in fact my family were in the rag trade a long time ago ago and what we do is we would um, people would sell their old clothes to rag merchants and rag merchants would then sort those clothes out into different grades of fabrics silks cottons wools uh, and then they would sell those back into the manufacturing industry and so the town where I was born and uh, our motto is um, or something along the lines of uh, making use of um, useless things. I'm, I'm paraphrasing that, but it is. That's what it is. It, it's uh, to turn something that was waste back into something useful, uh, and it's in Latin. I forget what it is. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll write it in the uh, in the description so I know for myself as well. But it's I forget what it translate exactly what it translates. Like, making useful not useful useless things it's much more poetic than that but anyway so a success it works that's really nice i'm going to have that for my lunch and really enjoy it with some soup